Hello, hello, folks. Today we're going to do some preventive maintenance on the X5 transfer case actuator gear. Um, I've seen several videos on how to change this gear, but um, on the X550i, I've not seen, and there are a few um, details that I'd like to show you uh, because the videos that I've seen um, didn't show the actual disassembly and get into the actual actuator on an X5. So here we go. All right, so there's this plate here, this shield that shields the underneath of the transmission. So that shield goes here and that's it has eight millimeter bolts that like one, one in the middle and one over there and then two, one here and one here on this brace bar. This brace bar is basically a cage there's a big ass bar here and then and then it connects and then there's this giant piece here and it has 16 millimeter bolts several going into the frame like this you'll find them they're 16 mil and then it has a gigantic eight millimeter bolt going through see this this here is a wrench with a 18 mil and I've got it resting on the bar itself in the position of unlock so I'm gonna go on the other side and use an impact wrench with another 18 millimeter socket and turn it to unlock it and uh, hopefully this will stay in place okay there's also some 10 millimeters uh, this one here so we've got to get this splash shield driver side splash shield that's the front that's the rear and it's in the way of this thing coming down so we can access the uh, actuator gear so with the tiny little small 10 mil there we go yep and then we've got to undo some a couple of uh, 10 mil here the plastic ones the little plastic guys See these little guys, and a couple of eight mils, like one right here and one over there, it's just so we can have room to pull this down to get this guy out. And then I got this one last uh, ten mil here and a ten mil over there. So let me undo that and uh, let's see if I can't get to this. On this ten mil here, blocked by the pipe, I couldn't get it with my uh, electric, so I'm using a ratcheting bench here here we go and here is looking to the front of the car this here is the 18 mil bolt here that's the only thing that is uh, keeping this thing see I can move it but it's suspended by this bolt through a rubber bushing okay so I've got it braced on the other side with the 18 mil and now I'm gonna undo this with an impact wrench my trusty DeWalt. Okay. Over here. And we got look at that bolt here that just got undone. There's that 18 mil on the uh, towards the front. Put the on this block here. Now this thing is free. All I gotta do is take this this one bolt out here and see if we can't access let's see here's bolt uh, so okay that's e10 and they are on extremely extremely uh, tight so you have to be careful when you try to take these off you have to make sure that you use the proper socket which is the e10 socket don't try to use any other thing and rig it because the fins are rather thin and they will strip. Um, I put on some PB Blaster and waited a few minutes and even then it was super tight and I was feeling the fins starting to give like you, you that sensation I was like uh oh something is about to strip but thank god um, it started it went crack and then it cracked loose and then you know I started to uh, be able to unscrew it 
and I'm using a long extension because you can't get in there so you have to have a longer extension and then have to have a rather long uh, ratchet like I have an extendable ratchet right there so I can extend that handle get more leverage okay now I know why there are not any videos that I have found yet on an X5 disassembly of the um, actuator gear because number one it is pretty difficult to extract this device um, number two this is not what you see in the videos this is a completely different form factor it has two bolts that are E10 that connect it up so when you take it out it'll by gravity it'll drop down uh, number two uh, to take this out that you have to bend the heat shield upwards not downwards upwards so that the gap you know the heat shield is here so you can't get it out so you have to push it up towards the body of the car and then kind of try to squish this out because this is pretty wide here work that out and then once you get that out of course then you've got to get this uh, T20 one two and I think there are three let's open that and hopefully um, I've got the right parts as you can see I've got two different brands both from China uh, it's supposed to be carbon infused um, so um, I don't know <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this might just have to put it back together and you know try to look for an actual part number but anyways um, we'll see they look identical down to the molding so it I don't think it matters so I'll test fit both of them okay guys and gals um, I have opened this and uh, apparently the gear is uh, not applicable to this 2011 X5 um, this is a completely uh, I guess it's a brushless motor or whatever so you cannot access this there is no this is completely different than the X3 or the you know the E53 so don't try to do this um, don't try to replace this so I I guess if you ever get that error you have to replace this whole module so I'm just gonna put it back and reassemble it and um, wait for it to go bad when it does go bad so that's the end of this tutorial <laughs>